friends, um, ciao amici, oggi vi insegno come si fa la tabbule, today I'm going to teach you how to make tabbule salad, uh, many of you have seen my um, food pictures, cooking pictures uh, on Facebook and have asked me uh, to teach you how to do the tabbule sa salad, I want just to pr uh, make sure uh, for you that I'm not a cook, uh, I, I'm not <laughs> a cook, but I'm only, you know, uh, trying to answer some of your questions, um, curiosities about Arabic food. I have made the Arab bread uh, video and then I'm going to make the tabbouleh salad. But I'm going to do it in two languages because uh, some of my uh, Italian friends, uh, Italian students don't know uh, English and they would really also want to know how to do tabbouleh. So I'm going to make this um, small introduction also in Italian and I'll come back. Uh, I'm going to come back uh, to you right away. Okay, so ciao amici. Uh, oggi vi voglio insegnare come fare tabbouli, l'insalata di tabbouli. La faccio in tutte e due lingue, inglese e italiano, perché uh, tanti di voi amici miei uh, italiani non sanno bene l'inglese e quindi uh, non posso fare la tabbouli due volte, una volta in inglese e una volta in italiano. La, la faccio oggi in italiano e in inglese insieme. La tabbouli è l'insalata molto molto diffusa nel Medio Oriente, con il prezzemolo, è un'insalata uh, fredda, buonissima, buonissima. E, um, mi avete chiesto in tantissimi di farvi la, uh, dopo aver visto il mio video di uh, pane arabo, allora ho deciso di, farli, di farvi uh, questo video tutorial uh, dove vi, faccio, vi preparo la tabula davanti a voi e vi spiego come farlo, ok? I'm going to switch to English now, so, ok, so... Um, I'm going to speak a little bit about tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is a Levantine salad. It was created originally in uh, Syria, Lebanon and Palestine area. It is used also around the whole world. It is a, a cold plate. Uh, it's so yummy, uh, filled with uh, spices and olive oil and lemon and it's fantastic. So um, I'm going uh, to prepare it with you today. Are you ready? I think yes. Let's go. So oh, let's begin with the ingredients. What I need is a lot, a lot, a lot of parsley. So you know, do you see this, how big it is? I need not one, but two, and even more, so I brought more here. Um, so you need a lot of parsley for this. This is for something like um, four or five people, but I'm going to eat it alone. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Cosa avrete di cosa avrete bisogno è di tantissimo tantissimo prezzemolo, se avete visto qui uno, due e non mi basta, e ho comprato ancora prezzemolo, allora tantissimo prezzemolo perché si, questa tabula si basa con il prezzemolo, e, ok, so uh, uh, something else, what I, the second ingredient is tomato, ok, uh, make sure that the tomato is hard or green, as much as, as much green, you know, um, not very um, grown, pre-grown, I don't know how to call it, but you know, just not, not uh, very red, I didn't find, um, th this is the, this is the best that I, I found, so you see it's not too much red, it's uh, like, um, Portugali, which is orange. Uh, ok, allora avrete bisogno anche delle, dei pomodori, sceglieteli meno maturi possibili. Io possibile è questo che l'ho trovato, il meno maturo possibile è così questo colore arancione. Arancione, ok, passiamo all'inglese. Ok, English, I need three lemons, tre limoni, I need one, um, one um, cucumber, ok? Make sure that the cucumber that you find is smaller than this. Because in the Arab world, um, we have the, the cucumbers are really, really so small and so yummy. But in here in Europe, I can, I couldn't find it, find, find them. So if you have some people, some Arab people that they have um, a supermarket or something, I think you may find them there. Maybe they grow the small ones and not the big ones. So make sure if I'm, it's okay. If you find this big, it's it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, make sure you, sh you choose the smallest one. Ok, allora per il cetriolo provate a scegliere il cetriolo più piccolo che potete perché nel mondo, da noi nel mondo arabo abbiamo dei cetrioli molto piccoli, molto fini, molto molto buoni in realtà. Però qui in Europa non ho trovato più piccolo di questo, però da qualche parte si trova, io tante volte anche lo trovo, oggi non l'ho trovato. Allora scegliete il cetriolo più piccolo. Ok, I'm going to switch to English. Uh, we need, uh, how do we call it, spring onion? Yeah, spring onion one, uh, abbiamo bisogno di un cipolla così, tante volte qui è bianca, però è la stessa cosa. If you don't have spring onions, uh, normal onions would work, like a quarter of one onion. Se non avete 
la cipolla così verde potete anche usare la cipolla normale però un quarto non tanto ok and what we need the most important thing is this ok I wrote here what it's called it's called burrul now I'm going to show it to you close this is burrul burrul uh, and these are um, species of wheat now it's cereal food made of species of wheat okay uh, it's called also I looked in Wikipedia it's called bull 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 uh, <laughs> it's, it's the, uh, like the opposite of the Arab word bull uh, it's called bulgur bulgur in English in the, you know in, in the yeah, universal it's called bulgur and you will find it I'm sure you will find it in um, uh, um, uh, ethnic shops, uh, supermarkets, or uh, um, places where they sell cereals, you will, you will find it. Um, ok, in italiano questo si chiama, uh, l'ho scritto qui perché non è, è fatto di frumento integrale, grano duro, duro, ok, frumento integrale, grano duro, termogliato. Hm? Questo si chiama burrul, lo potete trovare, io l'ho trovato qui, non voglio dire come si chiama il supermercato, però l'ho trovato in tipo bustine. Uh, uh, e questo si chiama burrul, l'avete già visto, che okay? l'inglese non c'è bisogno di, di rivedere farlo vedere, ok. Insomma, questo burrul è la cosa essenziale. Ok, so the, um, in English, the, the size of the burrul must be very, very small, so I'm not going to use actually the big size of burrul not the big uh, species but the very very small smaller size it's the same if you also have the bigger one it's, it doesn't matter actually i have here the the small one small species i'm going to use the small ones for tabbouleh scegliete più piccoli burgul the small small size di una misura piccola okay these are my ingredients um we need also olive oil abbiamo bisogno anche di olio d'oliva and salt e sale e un po' di cumino a little bit of cinnamon ok cumin it's called in Arabic but it's cinnamon in English and we need just a little bit you know to make it uh, tasty so let's begin the work first thing that you would need is to take a quarter cup or um, just a little bit more than quarter cup of burgul and we put it with water ok so we put it in uh, not a lot of water you know in half cup of water Okay, and we keep it, you see, water and burgul, and we keep it aside for now. Second step is to take the uh, parsley. Secondo step, ah, il primo step era mettere il burgul in un po' di acqua. Second step is to put, to take the parsley and let go of the big pieces of, uh, I mean, of these the last pieces, we have to take them and put them in my dunk. <laughs> I don't know how you, you taught me how to call this, but I don't remember. So, um, we take only the good parts, okay? The last parts of the parsley, okay? Di nuovo, mettiamo da parte solo la parte di sopra del prezzemolo e leviamo tutto, tutta questa parte perché è molto amara, non va a mangiare. Okay? Potete anche lasciare un pochino, così, un pochino così, però non tutto questo... Ok, io faccio così ora, fate anche voi con me perché è molto, ci vuole tanto tempo. So I'm going to continue doing this, it will take me a while, so you also continue doing it with me and I'm going to come back uh, after I'm done. 